Okay, this video is to go over some ear anatomy. Uh, I've got the model in front of me that you're going to see in class. This is just an additional tool to make sure you uh, understand enough about this model for the practical exam. Uh, so I'm going to start out pointing out the auricle to you. Uh, this is the large structure that funnels sound into the external acoustic canal. Uh, you'll notice that this canal leads into the central part of the ear, and the next important structure that sound waves are going to hit are the tympanic membrane. Um, so you should see that this tympanic membrane is connected to the three smallest bones in the body, which are the malleus, incus, and stapes. So you can't really see that where I'm at now, but if I actually pull out the tympanic membrane, you'll notice that there's this piece here that's kind of getting in the way. That's part of the model. It's not an actual bone. Um, this part labeled down here is the malleus. You'll notice the malleus is directly attached to the tympanic membrane. Then as you continue along the malleus, you go up to the incus. And then the third bone is actually still connected back here to the rest of the inner ear structures. This is called the stapes which is right here. So these are Latin names that refer to similar looking items. You'll notice that the stapes sort of looks like a stirrup. You could put your, imagine putting your foot in here. Um, that is going to be the last of the auditory ossicles. The three ossicles are the malleus, incus, and stapes. Uh, you'll notice what this directly connects to is a, a variety of structures within the inner ear. Uh, the stapes is directly responsible for communicating sound waves into the cochlea, where you see the snail shell looking structure here. And then also within the inner ear you have these semicircular canals, you see three of them here. These are involved in the idea of balance and orientation. Um, the last structure I'll point out to you directly connected to the cochlea and also the vestibule, which is part of your balance organ is you have a branch of the vestibulocochlear nerve. Um, so this nerve is visible on the model. You have a, another nerve that is proximal to all of this called the facial nerve, but the facial nerve is not featured on the model. This is only the vestibulocochlear nerve that's attached here. 